Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight for the 22nd Annual Celebration of Hope Virtual Gala. Tonight, you will create long-lasting positive change by building communities filled with hope. Together with your support, during this compassion-filled evening, we will raise funds to build 25 new homes for families in need in Keatees, Haiti. With performances from Caribbean Gospel Music Hall of Fame inductee and international award-winning performer, Glacia Robinson. And don't miss out. The silent auction is open, so please visit foodforthepoor.org forward slash celebration to bid on exciting items. An evening filled with inspiration, faith, and transformation. Celebrating hope. And now, live streaming from the Food for the Poor headquarters in Coconut Creek, Florida, your hosts for the evening, Delane Bailey Hurd and Paul Jacobs. Well, good evening, and we're finally here. We're finally here at the 22nd Annual Celebration of Hope Gala. I'm Paul Jacobs, and I'm so grateful to be with you as your co-host this evening. As you may notice, we have uh, exchanged the large ballroom for a more intimate setting. The setting is your home. It's your office. Maybe you're on your cell phone and it's wherever you are, but we're together. Now, 22 years ago, a mission trip to Haiti turned into a life's mission. And we would like you to join us on that mission this evening. But of course, we don't do anything without starting on with prayer. And we want to let you also know that there's some breaking news that we'll be talking about a little bit later. As of last night, we learned that there were, excuse me, as of this morning, we learned that there were some massive fires in Honduras, in the Cayo Guanaja area of Honduras, where more than 30 families lost their homes. And we're also learning about a flood in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, last night. Now, those of you that are watching on Facebook and YouTube, we want you to join us and just understand the urgency of this event this evening. But we'll talk a little bit more about why we're here tonight. But let's begin in prayer. Delane? Amen. Thank you, Paul. And thanks to all of you who are joining us tonight. Tonight is a night of purpose. Tonight is about transformation. It's about hope giving. And here at Food for the Poor, we live a culture of prayer. So to begin tonight, let us pray. Our Father, our God, we love you so much. We thank you that you have drawn us together in this place at this time for this purpose. Thank you, Lord, that you have called us, you have appointed us, and we say yes. Thank you for Dr. Lynn. Thank you for our friends from Orlando and jo those joining us from around the country. Lord, 22 years of giving hope. Thank you for the legacy that Father John has even pioneered, Lord, and, be and was a part of. Thank you for that. And God, tonight we lift up Honduras. We lift up Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and the floods there. And we ask for your divine in intervention. Father, I thank you that you have already preceded us with blessings. You have already preceded us, Lord, in Kittis, Haiti. Tonight's effort is geared at providing homes in Kittis. And we thank you for every person that will give tonight, every home represented on this gala tonight, Lord. We ask that you would bless every person that would write a check. Bless them abundantly. Lord, we thank you and we give this night to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I tell you, thank you, Delane. And this evening, the urgency has never been greater. As you've heard us share about the wild, the massive fires in Honduras and the flooding in Port-au-Prince, but Kittis, Haiti, a place where families are struggling, we need you to respond, to call, click, or text. But tonight, we want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Our sponsors are very special because this is more than just business as usual for them. They are supporting families in Kittis, Haiti. All of our sponsors, starting with Feed My Starving Children, thank you. Davida, thank you. Thank you. Bravo Supermarkets, thank you. McCoy Federal Credit Union, thank you so much. Thank you to all of our sponsors, and thank you to you. Because tonight, not only are you joining us on Facebook, YouTube, or on our website, but you have an opportunity to share as well. 
right at the top of your screen, you can share, click the share button, and share with your friends and your family and your social media audience about what's going on tonight and how urgent the need is. You see, in, there are 25 homes for families in Kitis, Haiti, that desperately need your help. They desperately need a home. And tonight, we're going to give you a, a, real, a real introduction, uh, really to connect with the families personally. 25 homes tonight, 25 families tonight, 25 futures that need to get back on the track to life through you and your generosity. We're going to reference all of, our, all of your help, and we're going to show you occasionally our thermometer, give you some thank yous. We want to just let you know here is where we're located and how close we are to getting those families' homes accomplished with your help tonight. Oh, and by the way, we've got some help this evening, Delane, don't we? We do. Paul, yes. there is a match. Tell us about it. Dollar for dollar, every gift you give this evening will be matched with a dollar's worth of food. That means every size gift that you give tonight will be matched with a dollar of food. Not only are you providing that next home for that family in Kitsi Haiti, but you're also making sure that families are eating. Life-saving food, Paul. Life-saving food. Say life -saving. that again, it's worth saying. Life-saving food, Paul. Life-saving food. Well, here's how you can do it. You call, click, or text. You can literally click the Donate Now button at the top of our screen, or text Hope Gala to 51555. Or Paul, they can call at 1-800 427-9104 and our team members are standing by waiting for your call. Well, they're actually sitting waiting for your call, but they're also standing by. Anyway, well, we want to let you know that YouTube, all of you are watching on Facebook, you can call and visit our website as well, foodforthepoor.org forward slash celebration. Now, our next speaker is the president and CEO of Food for the Poor, but that's just the title. He really leads by example in his mission here at Food for the Poor. And that mission and that example began on a mission trip more than a dozen years ago to Haiti. So ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome our President and CEO of Food for the Poor, Mr. Ed Rain. Welcome to the Celebration of Hope. As we mark the 22nd year of this event, we should also celebrate the commitment of all of you who have returned each year to help the people of Haiti and especially to recognize the leadership of Dr. Lin, who makes this happen each year. Thank you. In a few moments, we'll play a short video that really speaks to the spiritual foundation that underpins all of our work here at Food for the Poor. Our new tagline is, United in God's Work, and great thought was put into selecting this tagline. We are clear that through the instruction of the gospel, we each have the opportunity to make a difference in the life of another and in so doing, heed the second commandment of loving thy neighbor. But the truly remarkable outcome of the work we do is to spread joy to those who don't really expect to know what it means to be joyful. Instead, they live every day in hope that God may touch the soul of another who hears their desperate cry for help and is in a position to transform and materially change their life. And in turn, validate the faith in God that may have been the only sustaining factor in that person's life. So thank you once again for all that you have done and all that you are able to do. At Food for the Poor, we hope to be able to serve as a trusted steward of your generosity to do God's work, united in our faith. Now let's have a look at that video.
Thank you so much, Ed. And tonight is about hope. It's about helping to bring about transformation. And there, there is an opportunity available for you to answer the cries of the families in Kittis tonight. And you, there are some ways that you could help us, the ways that you could donate. You could click, you could call, or you could text, as seen on the screen. And for every gift that you make tonight, there is a dollar for dollar match. Friends, tonight, we have international recording artist, hope giver and defender of those who are in poverty, multi-award winner, chart topper, song writer and singer, songs such as We Are One, Winner, Hold My Hand, with an upcoming anthem from Food for the Poor being launched next year. So be on the lookout and secure your copy. But tonight, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Glacia Robinson with tonight's hope anthem, My Hope. Lord, you are my hope and shield. You are my love, my joy, my light, my life. I put my hope in you. I put my trust in you. Lord, I believe in you. You are faithful. You are true. are dancing in my heart you are here and there's no need to cry, cry. you promise that you never leave me nor forsake me you are standing by Oh! 
My hope is in you. I know I'm supposed to be emceeing this event, hosting tonight, but I am moving to my hope, and I am looking forward, as hope, I hope you are as well, to getting your anthem of hope that is dropping next year. That's what the young kids are saying. The album is dropping next year, early next year. So please be on the lookout to get your copy of our anthem of hope by Glacia Robinson. You don't want to miss out. Hey, listen, want to let you guys know that you can call, click, or text right now your best gift. You can start giving right now. Don't be shy. Be next. Go to our website, foodforthepoor.org forward slash celebration. Right at the top of the page, you'll see the Donate Now button. Click that. It's simple. It's easy to do. It'll take a moment, and you will be transforming lives in Kitty's Haiti. Or those eight, so, so eight powerful letters, Hope Gala. Text Hope Gala to 51555. That's Hope Gala to 51555, or call us toll free, 1-800-427-9104. Oh, and by the way, those of you that are watching us on Facebook or on YouTube, hey, join us right now at foodforthepoor.org forward slash celebration to click, call, or text in your gift. By the way, I have to remi remind everybody, when you give tonight, your gift, every dollar is going to be matched with a dollar of worth of food. We don't want to miss out. You're not only providing those families the hope that they desperately need with the homes that they desperately need, but also your gift by another donor is going to be matched with a dollar's worth of food. So please, do, do it right now. Now, I have to tell you, those of you that know Dr. Lynn Nasrallah, our chair of the Celebration of Hope event, uh, you know her passion. You know when she gets in your face and she just talks to you so passionately about Haiti, she means business. In fact, 22 years ago, a mission trip for her to Haiti began as her life's mission. And her mission has successfully spread to countless others. In fact, you're here because of that same passion. And so now, you'd like, we wanted to share with you, and Dr. Lynn would like to share with you her passion and her heart tonight on our 22nd annual Celebration of Hope. Dr. Lynn Nasrallah. Good evening, friends of God and friends of the poor. Thank you so much for being here tonight to join us in our second virtual gala for our brothers and sisters in Haiti. As you know, Haiti continues to be in crisis because of the earthquake that happened on August 14th and the ensuing tropical storm. We know already that thousands have died and many more have been injured. UNICEF reports that 1.2 million Haitians have been impacted by this earthquake, and that includes a half a million children who now have no safe shelter and no safe water to drink. And that is why your presence here tonight is so relevant during these desperate times in Haiti. So many times on my mission trips to Haiti, I have encountered hundreds of villagers and they always thank God first. Then they thank food for the poor. And then they thank you, the donors, because you have gifted them with a brand new food for the poor home. Usually among the villagers, I often would see a hungry child or a thirsty child or many children without shoes on their feet. And of course, I always notice so many families living in worthless shacks. And it is at that exact moment when I remember that each one belongs to God. Each one longs to be free of poverty. And each one is really Jesus to me. Whatever you and I do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do actually to Jesus. In the midst of seeing hundreds of Haitian villages, somehow God arranges for me to meet a unique individual who leaves a handprint on my heart forever. Let me introduce you to my unforgettable friend, Filiana. Oh, how she smiles. Oh, how she loves. Oh, how she laughs. And yes, how she suffers. Allow me to reminisce. On a Food for the Poor mission trip in 2002, my daughter Desiree and I met Filiana at Cardinal Leger Hospital. It is a hospital that cares for patients with leprosy. I remember that Filiana was sitting up in her hospital bed when we visit her in the cubicle. 
She was about 30 years old, vibrant and smiling. She made her living by crocheting starfish. She sold these starfish for $1 a piece. So Desi and I bought all that she had available, around 20 of them. Outside the hospital, I asked the nurse why Filiana's sadness seemed so much more than the physical pain of her surgery. The nurse reported that Filiana had severe financial problems. Apparently, her whole adult life, she lived with her brother and sister-in-law. She never had a home of her own to live with her three children, Evelyn, Jonathan, and Luna. Filiana moves into her new food for the poor home. God and his mighty providence saw to it that the home was built right next to the hospital. I want you to picture this scene. The food for the poor van parked in front of Filiana's new home. I slowly started walking toward the aqua painted home. She appeared in the doorway with her right hand, shielding her eyes from the sun. We embraced and I could feel her trembling in my arms. We both started to cry on each other's shoulders. It was a magnificent moment in time when the whole world stood still. As I embraced Filiana, I started twirling her in a circle. It was a dance of love between Filiana and me. Then it became a dance of Filiana and me with Jesus. But Filiana never lost her faith in God or her love of family or her love of me. On this last Palm Sunday, March 28th, 2021, I was notified by Madame Guerre that Filiana was sent to the hospital by ambulance. I went to my bedroom and I diligently prayed, pleading with God for a healing for Filiana. The healing was not to come on earth. Only God could heal Filiana of leprosy. So the Lord took Filiana home. I was heartbroken and cried for days. And then I began to keep a reverent silence, to ponder the mystery of life and death of a friend. Filiana's tears and trials are over. She has fought the good fight. She has finished the race and she kept the faith. Tonight we have honored the memory of Filiana and her motherly commitment to leave her children the only earthly possession that she had, her food for the poor home. And as I have loved Filiana, me and my children, Desiree, Mike, and Nicole, will continue to love her children. But I know if Filiana could send me a message from heaven tonight, she would surely whisper to me, Dr. Lynn, tell your friends to build more homes in Haiti because just one home for one needy family will change their life forever. It will indeed become a never ending miracle. In a Haiti village called Kittis, 25 family members are awaiting your generosity. You and I, we cannot do everything, but we can do something. A gift of a home can alter the course of a poor person's life for life. Just as Filiana has left her handprint on my heart, I want you to leave your handprint on the heart of a needy family in Haiti. Thank you for what you are about to do tonight. I want to say, in Creole, merci, en pile, en pile. Thank you so very much. God bless you and your family. God bless Haiti and the United States of America. Wow, thank you so much, Dr. Lynn. Mercy in action is what you embody. Yeah, and, and it's for mothers like mothers that I've met in Haiti. One of my very first trips to Haiti, I met a mom named Gerda. And I saw the conditions that she was living in, much like what you're seeing behind us right now. We're talking about 
rotten wood for a front door. We're talking about literally a wall of mud. When it rains, every drop of rain washes away that mud, exposing the parents, exposing the family, exposing everything intimate about their life. And she invited us in to be so transparent and to share how she lived. And I could not believe this was happening just 93 minutes from my front door. And for many of you right now, you're listening and you're hearing about Kitty's Haiti for the very first time. Well, I tell you, it is a place of hope at the end of tonight. Delane? You know, Paul, Kittis is in the south of, Port, uh, of Port-au-Prince in uh, a community known as Petit Guave. And tonight, 25 families wait in prayerful anticipation. These families have been exposed to the elements, homes made of flimsy material, mud, tarp, wooden sticks, plastic. Moms wait, they cry, they ask. Unsafe dwelling, fragile, insects, rodent infestant. Tonight, together we have the opportunity to provide safer homes, two-room homes, sanitation, wow. water cistern, <laughs> solar light, wow. and furniture. You know, for 15,200, two homes could be provided tonight. Can you just imagine, just take a moment for a, just to think of those two homes, those two families escaping these mud walls and having walls of hope, walls of security and safety and confidence. Paul, and for $10,000, a home, and enough to get us started towards the second home. And that gift of $10,000 will be matched with $10,000 worth of food. That's right. Every gift that you give tonight is going to be matched dollar for dollar with food. So just think right now, your $10,000 gift is getting us on, on point for our home and the next home getting ready to be built as well. And you're providing that match worth of food. And for 7,600, one home, and $7,600 worth of food. I heard it once said, do for the one that you wish you could do for the many. That $7,600 provides that one family the home that they need. So simply call, click, or text. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. You can call right now, 800-427-9104, or text Hope Gallup to 51555, or you can click on the website at the Donate Now button. Those of you on Facebook or on YouTube, go over to our website right now and give your best gift. And remember, every gift that you give is matched dollar for dollar. You know, the passion of what we're doing here is never more evident than George and Kim Del Campo, two committee members that remind us of why we're here tonight, their dedication and the legacy that began with living their faith out. Ladies and gentlemen, George and Kim Del Campo. We wanted to show our children that living their faith was more than just going to mass on Sundays, that you need to live your faith every single day, and this was it. I remember several years ago, Robin Mafood speaking at St. James Cathedral, and he was talking about this new ministry that he was starting called Food for the Poor, and shortly after this, we were approached by our friends Bob and Carmen Wilson. Bob was helping at the gala, working the auction area, and he invited my husband and I to go and help. And we were, we were anxious to go, especially when he said I could bring my three sons with me. I think my three sons were altar service at St. James Cathedral, and I thought this would be a great way for them to further their ministry to God and to learn to help the poor. It was an amazing and humbling experience at our first gala. We learned so much about the plight of the poor that we never considered. And this was also the night when we first met Dr. Lynn Nasrallah. Ever since that night, my husband, my sons, and I decided that we were going to dedicate every year to helping out with Dr. Lynn's mission. We have been coming back ever since. Now that our children are grown, they've gotten their wives involved the families of their wives involved, their friends, and even some of their employers have become sponsors of Food for the Poor. It's just been an, an amazing testimony 
to living our faith and to see how we can make a difference by living the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks to the Del Campos and for this very timely reminder to live our faith out daily. Tonight, here's an opportunity to live your faith out and to transform the community of Kittis. Just want to remind you to make your most meaningful sacrificial gift tonight to transform the way these people live into something that is safe, where they will be sheltered, no longer exposed to the element. And for $5,000, your contribution wow. can make an incredible difference. Can you just imagine your gift of $5,000 is going to provide the dignity a mother needs to keep herself secure in her home, the protection that she so desperately desires. And for $3,800, your contribution tonight will be matched with that equal amount of food it yeah. makes a difference, Paul. It makes a difference because think about it. You're giving to provide the next home in Kitty's Haiti. And all on top of that, your gift is being matched dollar for dollar with food, providing the food desperately needed for a family to survive. And your gift of 2500 makes an incredible difference in the lives of these people living in Kittis. Yeah, will you live your faith out right now? Maybe it's adding a zero. Maybe it's moving the decimal point to the right. <laughs> <laughs> and can, food will be matched with that. And your gift will be matched with food. So please, call, click, or text right now. We need your gift because these families in Kitis desperately need your help. So would you join us this evening? Call right now, 1-800-427-9104. Or text Hope Gala to 51555. Or you can simply click the Donate Now button right at the top right-hand corner of your screen. So please make that gift right now. And remember, every gift that you make, every gift that you give, dollar for dollar, is being matched right now. So please make that gift. Make that call. Je 
Est-ce que je vais dire c'est As Antoinette was speaking and sharing her story, her desperation in the, what she calls a home, I was reminded of the silence that is deafening in her situation, the silence of poverty that needs your compassion tonight. You see, sympathy sits. It's compassion that moves. And I'm reminded in the Bible when Jesus said, it said in the Bible, Jesus was moved with compassion. We need you to move with compassion tonight. And then help a family like Antoinette escape what you're seeing behind us this evening. And tonight is a hope-giving night, hope-giving opportunity. The Bible tells us that this poor man cried and God delivered him. So I would ask you tonight to not just be hearers, but also be doers. He wants to use you to answer the cries of 25 families tonight in Kittis that live in fragile, unsafe living conditions. Make your most meaningful gift tonight and transform the way these people live. Yes. Horrible, horrific conditions exposed to the element. And your gift of $1,000 tonight will make a great difference. Remember, your $1,000 gift is turning cries of poverty, cries of pain into cries of joy and laughter and satisfaction knowing that they'll be in a safe, secure home because of you. We welcome your gift of $500. That That's makes right. an incredible difference as well. And also remind you, every gift, every dollar is being matched with a dollar's worth of food as well as helping provide that next home in Kiti Sadi. $250 makes a difference, it does. Wow, can you just think your weekly grocery bill could be the difference between life and death for a family in Kitty's Haiti. I choose life. How about you? Any sacrificial gift tonight is welcomed. will make an incredible difference. And again, the ways to give is listed on the screen. You could call us, click or text. We need you right now. Those of you on Facebook or YouTube, we need you to call. We need you to visit our website and make your best gift. And I want to remind you that tonight, your gift is being matched dollar for dollar with food. So please, every gift makes a difference. Get the kids involved. Get the entire family, 100% of your household giving to a family who desperately needs you tonight. And those of you who have already given, thank you so much. Those of you who are giving right now, Thank you. Thank you. Your generosity is incredibly rewarding. And you 
make the difference. And we ask you to give your most meaningful gift to answer these cries, these families' cries. And as you write your checks and as you click and as you text and as you call us, as you're giving your gift tonight, Glacia Robinson has an incredible, encouraging message for you and for the families in Kittis. Kittis, help is on the way. Is on the way. You heard it from Glacia Robinson's mouth. Now it's time for you to prove her right that help is on the way. How you can do it is very simple this evening. You call, you click, or you text and give your best gift. And I want to remind you though that every gift that you give tonight, every dollar amount that you give is being matched with a dollar's worth of food. 
to help provide for families who are in desperate need. There's another way that you can be a part of tonight's events this evening. You can be a part of the silent auction. Now, I love the silent auction. You just simply scroll down to the bottom of the home page and click the auction button. Or if you're on your mobile device, you click auction on mobile. It's really simple to do. You can participate in the silent auction, but I must warn you, the auction closes at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. You'll find in there 10 arts from Haiti Artisans. Now, I love this art because it's a story. It's the story of a artesian in Haiti that has really persevered to make this a part of their life now in your home. Or maybe you'd like to join the family or take yourself to the City of Lights, Paris, France. And maybe you'd like to possibly go deep sea, fish, deep sea fishing with the whole family or take your family or yourself to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. The point being is that there are a lot of auction items that you can bid on tonight. We want you to be a part of everything that's going on this evening because it is getting us, uh, helping us get to our next home in Kitty Haiti. Now, I met the mother of our next presenter. I was stunned and shocked by the conditions in which she lived. The community where her home sat on one side was a textile plant, a factory, in fact, that poured out this filthy water where families routinely collected that water to drink, to bathe their children, to use on a daily basis. On the other side of this home was a mountain of trash close to three stories high. Let me introduce you to a true testimony and story of transformation, Diana. I am I go to bed hungry and I'm four. My name is Diana.
Wow, this is so powerful, this transformation that's taking place tonight. And this is what we believe will happen in Kittis because of you. And remember that there are some easy ways that you could make your most memorable donation tonight. You could call us, you could click, or you could text. Remember that every single gift you give tonight, every gift you give, it will be matched dollar for dollar. And then the auction items are still available for you tonight, and the auction closes at 10 p.m. There is family outing, Haitian wood carvings, custom arts, dining experiences, apparels, handbags, and so much more. Kittis, we want you to know that there is hope in the wake of tragedy. There's triumph in the face of adversity for the survivor. You are a survivor. And to remind us tonight that you are a survivor, Kittis, here is Glacia Robinson with her song, Survivor. Devastated by your losses, dazed by disbelief, displaced by the trail of death and disaster, hoping to find relief. So
our survivors. I'm, I'm jamming out. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to play guitar, but I am excited because we are being blessed. Your gifts are coming in, and we're going to give you an update in just a moment because so many of you have been responding, and there are survivors in Kitty's Haiti. Thank you, all of you that have called, you've clicked, you've texted your best gift tonight, and you've been reminded every, every chance, of the, every way, and every way to let you know that your gift is being matched with food. So please, also, by the way, don't forget, you can go to the bottom of our, our homepage right now and click the auction button. Or if you're on your mobile phone, click auction on mobile. Remember, the silent auction closes at 10 p.m. And we're going to give you an update. We don't want you <laughs> to miss out on where we are and how close we've come and miraculously close if, um, if my numbers are correct. But I tell you this much. There was two phrases in Creole I want to share with you this evening. Sakvid um, pakampi. That means an empty bag cannot stand. And with every one of those calls, with every one of those clicks, with every one of those text messages or text to give, you literally are filling that empty bag with families that need homes in Kitty's Haiti. And remember that gift is being matched. And Messi Ompi, thank you so, so much. We thank you. And we want to thank you personally in just a moment. But we have a few folks that would like to Join in with me in saying thank you to you. Okay, I'm so excited. This is, <laughs> we are having a great night. All right, we just got to say a round of applause and say thank you. Oh, wow. Tonight has been a miracle in the making. All right, you ready for this? I want to say some thank yous. Lisa and Dwight Satoff, thank you so much. Matthew 25 Ministries. I want to say thank you. Tyler Minton, God bless you. Mike and Desiree, thank you. Tracy and Kathleen, and also Miss Marianne Bright, thank you so much. Carlos and Joyce Sabodal, thank you so much. Tom and Susie, and also look, Mrs. Leona Law, thank you so much. Dr. Linda Zralla, as always, as well as Nicole. Tim Tolman, thank you so much. And also so many of you that have made your gifts. Raymond and Claudia, thank you. Tom Gunkel, Patrick and Louise, and Debbie Weiss, thank you. All right, you ready for this? Delaine. Wow. 34 homes. Paul, 34 <laughs> homes. 322,758 dollars. <laughs> Paul, I'm, exciting. I'm excited. Oh. Okay, wait, wait. I got to contain myself because guess what? I'm telling you, we told you this evening, all throughout the night, that every gift is being matched dollar for dollar with food. Food. Are you ready for this? Life saving food, Paul. Life saving. That's worth saying again, Delaine. Please Life tell them. saving food Life -saving to families. Food. All right, you ready for this? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. One million meals wow. <laughs> have been provided because wow. of your generosity. Because of you. Thank you so much. Because of it. <laughs> and we, we could not do this without you. And yes. so on behalf of all the families who will be impacted by your generosity tonight, thank you. You, my friends, have answered the cries of the people of Kittis. And tonight, we thank say you. thank you. God bless you. We are united in God's work. Merci. Merci, on peut.